Here are the video solutions for the NCFE Level 2 Functional Skills Maths and this is Section A which is the non-calculated part and this is from October 2019. Okay, so let's take a look at question number one. Okay, so it says the next month the price will increase by 12.5%. So how much extra will Asha need to pay for the swim? So we just need to work out what 12.5% of £5.20 is. Now, um, you kind of need to know that 12.5% is one eighth. Hopefully you know that 50% is one half, so therefore 25% is half of a half, which is a quarter. So therefore, oops, 12.5% is half of a quarter, which is one eighth. Um, but if you didn't know that 12.5% was an eighth, you probably wouldn't have thought of uh, going 50 to 25 to 12 and a half perhaps. Anyhow, uh, what is one eighth of five pounds 20? So how many eighths go into 5.20? Put a decimal point above on the bus stop, five divided by eight can't be done, so put in a zero, slide the five across. 52 divided by eight is six, six eighths are 48, so that's a remainder of four. 40 divided by eight is five, so 0 0.65 pounds, which is 65 pence. £5.20 is 30% more than the price at the Downton Leisure Centre. Okay, so the price for the Downton Leisure Centre has been increased by 30%. Now the multiplier for 30% is 0 0.30 or maybe just 0 0.3. So this is the multiplier we use to work out 30% of an amount. But if we want to increase an amount by um, 30%, we add one to this value, so we would multiply by 1.3. So the Downton Leisure Centre price has been multiplied by 1.3 to give us this new value of £5.20. So therefore the, the Downton Leisure Centre price is going to be £5.20 divided by 1.3. Now £5.20 divided by 1.3, um, well we don't really want to divide by a decimal. 520 divided by 1.3 is the same as 52 pounds divided by 13. Um, I often, when I'm teaching this to students, I tell them, oh, well, I ask them what eight divided by four is, they tell me two. Then I ask them what 80 divided by 40 is, most of them tell me 20, but actually the answer is still two. So you've got 10 times as much stuff shared amongst 10 times as many people, for example, it doesn't matter, you still get the same amount per person. So 520 divided by 1.3 is the same as 52 divided by 13. And the 13 times table goes 13, 26, 39, uh, 52. So one, two, three, four. So 52 pounds divided by 13 is four pounds. So the Downton Leisure Centre price was four pounds. Okay, so um, here are the, di the dimensions of the pool. So it, we're only interested in the four sides. So um, let's look at the 2,500 um, lengths. So it's at 150 centimeters deep. So the side, so not the base. So this, this is the base, I'm assuming. Um, the one wall is 2,500 long by 150 deep but there are two of them um, opposite each other of course and there's also two of the other walls which are 1250 times 150 depth okay so if we if i just draw try and draw well here here is my uh swimming pool filled here is my swimming pool here the water's in here so i'm working at this wall here and this wall here this wall here this wall here so the sides not not the base okay so that's where these calculations have come from so let's work out um, so we the first one was two let's just scroll up again uh, 2000 times 2500 multiplied by 150 so I'm going to concentrate on this first of all so I'm just going to do 25 multiplied by 15 five fives are 25 carry two two fives are 10 plus 2 is 12 Put in a zero because this is the one of 10. One five is five, one times two is two. So that is five, seven, three. So that is gonna be three, seven, five, plus put back those three zeros. And I wanna double it. So add three, seven, five, zero, zero, zero. What do I get? Zero, 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 10, carry one. 14 plus one is 15, carry one. 
Okay, so there is one value there. So that is two of the sides, and the other is 1250 times 150. Okay, so one thing I've spotted is that 1250 is exactly half of 2,500. So all I need to do is to divide 750,000 by two. Seven divided by two is three, carry one. 15 divided by two is seven, carry one, five, zero, zero, zero. So these are the two other sides. So in total, it's 750,000 plus 375,000. It's definitely gonna be taking me over a million, zero, 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 five, 12 carry 1, 10, 11. So in total there will be 1,125,000 squares. Is Asher correct? Yes, Asher is correct. There are over 1 million, um, there are 1,125,000. Okay, so um, we're comparing an Olympic swimmer to a goldfish. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to convert 0 0.9 miles per hour into kilometers per hour. <coughs> so 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So this is 0 0.9 here. Let's just go up along this line here and we can see it's two squares above this point here. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. So 1.42, 1.44. So that is 1.44 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's just write this further down actually. So 1.44 kilometers per hour, and we are comparing that to, um, I think it was meters per second, um, 1.9 meters per second. Okay, so we're comparing kilometers per hour to meters per second. Well, let's change the kilometers into meters. We need to multiply 1.44 by 1000, which is 1440 meters per hour. But we want meters um, per second. So if it does this number of meters per hour, then we need to divide this by 60 for meters per minute. Um, okay, or maybe it's actually easier if we turn this into meters per hour because multiplying, instead of dividing this by 60 and dividing by 60 again, why don't I multiply 1.9 by 60? So what is 1.9 times by 60? So 1.9 times 60, let's just do, um, well, let's just do, trying to think of an easy way to explain how to do this. So 1.9 times 60, I'm gonna make this number 10 times bigger and this 10 times smaller, and we're still gonna get the same value. So 19 times by six, six, nine to 54, carry the five. One times six is six, plus five is 11. So 1.9 meters per second is 114 meters per minute. So I now need to multiply this by 60. So what is 114 times by 60? Well, I'm just gonna do 114 times by six and then add a zero. Four six is 24, carry two. One six is six plus two is eight. And one times six is six, put in the zero. So the um, Olympic swimmer will do 6,840 meters in an hour, whereas the goldfish can only do 1,440. So the Olympic swimmer is faster. What was the question? Uh, did the Olympic record holder swim faster than a goldfish? So the answer is yes, he did. So Olympic swimmer is faster. Okay, so and for part E, so we want to work out an estimated mean and the reason why it's an estimate is because we're dealing with groups data. So Asher has done two swims between 25 and 26 minutes. So there might have been 25 minutes and a millisecond, or there might have all been 26 minutes exactly. So what we can do is we can only assume that both of them were exactly 25 and a half. So we're gonna create a new column here called the midpoint of these ranges. So we've got 26.5 and 27.5. So the mean time would be the total, um, the total time divided by the number of swims. So what is the total time? And the, only, the only problem here is it's gonna be the estimated mean time 
from our estimated totals. So she's done two swims that took, we're estimating 25.5 uh, minutes each. So the total time is two times by 25.5, which is 51 minutes. So here we're multiplying, um, normally this is labeled as the frequency. So this is the frequency times the midpoint. So we're, we're multiplying across these two columns here. Four times 26.5 is 106 and four times 27.5 is 110. We want the total time, which is all of these subtotals added together. And if we add those together, one plus six is seven, five plus one is six, one plus one is two. So the estimated mean is the estimated total, which is 267 divided by the number of swims, which is 10. So that is 26.7 minutes. And that is the end of section A.